We welcome Liz Erstat Hicks with Interfaith Outreach, and there are some great opportunities for learning. Liz, what does that look like now, and how can people get involved? Yeah, well, we are launching a new series this summer called Learn, Reflect, and Act. It's a series of opportunities for our community to come together and support the work of Interfaith Outreach this summer. It's inviting engagement from everybody, from families and kids, groups of friends, uh, business groups, faith communities, everybody to join in a summer of learning and reflection and action in service of our community, becoming the best version of itself. And the series this summer is focusing on youth in our community. So we're providing opportunities for you to directly help youth from low-income families but also opportunities for us to learn and reflect on the inequities that youth in our community are facing, especially youth, youth of color, and most importantly, what we, can what we can do to address those inequities. And why is this such a crucial time for these lessons? Great question. Um, I think two things come to my mind. Um, the first is the current pandemic. Uh, it has had a significant impact on families and kids in our community. Uh, with job loss, cut in hours, um, obvious health concerns and exposure to the virus. And for a lot of families with kids, that lack of, of structured care and recreation for youth have put a real strain on families. And we see that impacting communities of color at higher rates. Um, uh, recent data is showing Black Americans are contracting the virus at twice the rate of whites and Latinos at three times the rate. So yeah, important for us to be thinking about that in this time. Uh, secondly, the recent killing of George Floyd in our community at the hands of Minneapolis police. It, it has shown a light on really the, the enduring and violent pandemic of racism in our community and in systems in our community. And so, you know, a lot of people are talking about this time as the great awakening of empathy and solidarity. Um, that, that really makes now a great time to dig into deeper learning and reflection as a community. So that's what we're gonna be doing together. Um, you know, here at Interfaith, we know no single service project or activity or, or conversation will end systemic racism by itself. But we are confident that when we engage in those meaningful activities and that reflection, whether as an individual or especially as a community, we can make change. And of course, Interfaith Outreach has a good website when it comes to any more information and resources about these programs and donation opportunities. Liz, thank you so much for your time and everything you're doing. Thank you for your support. Learn more about The Connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.